Okay, perfect. So Christina, her birthday today. So Happy uh, birthday. Vamos. So uh, Christina, what are we going to do today? Uh, I would like to try uh, Fibora. Yeah. Uh, I would like to try Bandeja and uh, and the surf. The surf. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, and maybe we can also do that. You can play the Bandeja or the Fibora just one. You, oh, okay. Maybe you don't need. You are two the shots. expert. You are yeah? the expert. We'll, you, we'll you. find out in this video. Okay. Vamos. Hey, welcome everybody. If we want to take a look at the bandeja, we first have to take a look about uh, how the forehand volley is played or the bandeja of the vibra. So if something goes wrong in the forehand volley, you're going to make all the mistakes there as well. So I think with the forehand volley, we have to speak about the, um, uh, the duration of the frozen moment. So the frozen moment, I mean, if your racket is still here, like frozen, not moving. At the moment, Christina, when you're, when you're going back, it's there and you go forward. So there is not a frozen movement. And if that will happen here, it is complicated to have a good and correct timing. And that will be spaghetti. Yeah, the, this is the prepara the spaghetti. <laughs> so what we're going to do, I'm going to ask you to be here and then I'm going to play the ball. So you are going to prepare from here, not moving the racket. Then I play the ball and you go from there all the way there. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you how much easier it is to play in that way. Okay. Yeah? Yes, again. Again. Yes. Okay. Always focus on the result, but now your ball was lower and it had more slice because before I think your folly is, is solid but sometimes when they play fast and you have the spaghetti then it's out maybe or you cannot slice the ball enough if this is frozen you can have a lot of slice to the ball that's very important so now I'm doing one forehand one backhand and we do a rhythm that you're there hold folly hold folly yeah Vamos! Thank you. There. Nice. There. Yes. There. Nice. Okay. What is very important, Christina, is how slow you are able to prepare. So we want to be here very early. But to do to do that, you can do this, then you are there. But if you accelerate this fast, it's very hard to control forwards. So try to prepare slower and earlier. There. There. Yes, also close to you. So let's say I am positioned here. I'm never going to hit the fence with my preparation. I'm always going to be here. You see, I twist my body a little bit, but this takes not a second. If this takes longer, so if you are going to be all the way here or some people, I know you're there behind the computer, that you have like this swing, it takes too long. So if somebody plays fast, you're going to make a mistake. So this is easier. Yes. We know now from the bodies to the overheads yeah, because everything that we do here amazingly you can do here amazingly as well See, it's easy if you think about it it's easy the yeah. way you say the logic but if you think oh i'm gonna kill this ball yeah. it's going to be spaghetti preparation yeah. but if you are like super zen or sven then it's there then then everything happens because if you're here and you think oh i'm gonna build up the volley I'm sure that is not going to be spaghetti. Yeah. So it has to be with playing, wanting to play fast. So if you make this mistake, play your volley slower. Be, you cannot score a volley, just build up the point. And that's enough. Okay, so second step is that we take this to the overhead. So now I'm playing a high ball and you do exactly the same. Okay. Yeah, so the ball's okay. coming, 
and you freeze it here. It's super important first that the racket is higher than the, than the ball. So if the ball is here, your racket has to be there. And then you have to choose. I'm going to play a few balls and, uh, and we are going to decide together if you should play bandeja or fibula. I think you should choose one. Some people find it easy to play with side slice, some people find it easy to play high to low. So we have to decide. So I'm going to say just put the record here, play Vanetta or Bibola, what you want, and I will check what we have to do next. What is very important, if you look at Christina's bandeja in this video, you can see that the, the contact point, you can hold the racket, is very close to you, like here, and because of that, higher than quite high. If you play straight, it is nearly impossible to have this ball low. Okay. It doesn't matter how it you, so if you are able to play here, and turn your shoulders a little bit more to Sasha okay. and hit it there, you will keep the ball low. Okay. So the, the contact point is one of the most important things. And how you get here is less important. The only thing I can say is that it would be good if you come from here and you go to there. And now let's try if, uh, if you can keep the ball lower. Uh, it was low. Very low. Yeah, very low. I think that if we draw a line here on your foot, yeah. so this magical line, mm -hmm. that most of your shots are here. Okay. So that's like behind your foot. Okay. So this this is your foot. Oh, this is the line. This is the border. Yeah. So yeah. So so now you hit like here. Okay. It would be very good to hit. If you are there, slightly in front of the line, oh, okay. so that your contact point is there, that will make the ball go lower. Oh, okay. So instead of there, I had to go really far there. So it's like I did that. I hit the ball all the way here. So much difference. So this is how far I am from the from the ball. So that's like this line. That's, that's for me is one big step. And for me is a Solving the problems here. Second step was the contact point, and now moving to the third step. I think it's important that it's frozen here longer. So we take the mistake that we did with the volley. Now the third step is we recreate that it's frozen here. Yes. And what is important for everybody at home that if you play the bandeja, the top of the racket faces the fence behind you. So it's slightly open, not too much. This is old school bandeja, I never do this. Um, and from here, like here, you can cut the ball and go all the way there. Yes, but if you are able to have the racket here, then it's way easier to cut. If you're going to move back and then boom, then you cannot cut the ball so much. So I think from out of the 10 shots, you have three very good bandejas, and we want to have the three bandejas that are good to seven or eight bandejas that are amazing. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So I can see that the ball is rotating way more now. And if you play straight, one thing is important, that your bandeja comes before the white line. Yeah. Because if you play the ball behind the white line, the ball will come against the wall, and I can always have it. So that's the reason why you shoot. And you can kill me. And yeah, they will kill you. <laughs> no, we don't want the wretches. <laughs> uh, so play the field before the white line with the same slice. Okay. Yes. So the next step would be if we can check if side slice would be a little bit better or easier. So we can, this is the experimental phase. So if you want to do a little bit more Fibora, then you can have the racket slightly more this. And then you go around the ball. If the ball is a head, you hit it at his right ear. Our preparation is now open. If it's a Fibora, it should be slightly closed. And then it comes around like this. And then you hear it. And then it goes there. So if I play, uh, I will do one or two Fibora. So if I play the Fibora, I am here and around. So now the ball side slides now. Yeah. And everybody finds this a complicated shot because when the ball hits the glass, it shoots to another side, to the right side. If you stay away from the ball, it will be even better. That's the one. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes. So when the ball is coming in to Vibora, I am all the way here. This is the key set. Because then I turn. Yes, because then I can play around the ball. It is very important, the first step, to step and turn at the same time. Better. That's the one, that's the one. And then accelerate from there so that your preparation is very, very good. Yes, and then close the racket a little bit. So, the other side. Yes, so it's like a cap for your head. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, and from there you're going to play the people. used to it to this uh... yeah again okay, this is more the fibra movement so here but now this is going to be here because this position you cannot um, go a little bit more vertical so what we what you want to do if you hit the ball here that the record is coming from slightly higher than that so you can go down a little bit so I'm a fan of hitting the fibra a little bit two o'clock instead of three o'clock 
It depends. If it's super easy, you can do three o'clock, then the ball will remain very low. But it's okay to hit slightly there, because if you have a lot of slice, the ball will go and stay there anyway. Yeah, so your cap that you have now, slightly higher. Okay. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, then. try that. Okay. And try to see that to be in the 90-90. Exactly, and from there you close the record. Yes. So, so and I love the music from 90s. If this is here, I have no power. If this is here, I, it costs a lot of strength to lift up the ball. If this is here, this is relaxed. Yeah. For everybody at home, try to, to do this 100 times. Your arm will fall off. If you go from here and then there, this is way easier. And also this is easier. So also for the kick smash, this is a very easy method to play an easy smash. From here up, this is costing a lot of strength. But from here and then there is very easy to do. So the 90-90 rule is for the bandeja and the smash is one of the most important things for you to learn to improve your bandeja or smash. Because then that is the only way that you are getting an easy and fluid motion without any strength. Okay, so Christina and everybody at home, I have good news. If you can do the bandeja, then this is the same for the serve. So we can copy the exact same thing to the serve. So what is important about the serve, the same 90-90 rule, I think it's easier. And from there, if you do vibora, you can, you can close it or you can do bandeja. And then hit here and then play with slice. So it's already there, then throw and slice. Like now, now I do like a vibora serve. I, I already have like the Fibora uh, motion, maybe I can have it a little bit more there, and then there I can slice it a lot. Okay, let's <laughs> okay. <move. laughs> Yeah, okay. from here I play the ball, I don't move. Yeah. Yeah. More to the glass, slightly more to the glass. Yes, a little bit more, yeah, because now you can throw the ball more forward. Okay. And then your your left arm. Now now it's fair, you, if you drop the ball here, it's very close to you. So you should be more there. Oh, uh -huh. Just like the bandeja. Uh -huh. Better. Well, this is the most common mistake for the uh, slice serve, and for every single slice, is that you hit the ball and you go up again. That will make the ball go slice, but it deaccelerates. So with your serve, you should be coming from here, hitting the ball there, and then remain there. Never go up again. Yeah, now you went up. Yes. <laughs> so now you're going from here, and you try to hit hip high, so this height, and then you go down there. Yeah. Better? Yes. And hit further to your right. No? Or to your right, so you, yes, left left hand, yes, and oh, then oh, drop okay. it there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, high to low. Okay, I'm gonna hold your racket. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and I decide when I let it go, yeah? Okay. Again. Nice. Yes. And now hit it waist high. Now you're hitting the height of the knee. Okay. Better. So now I think the control is higher. But if you hit the ball lower than the net, you can never play with a lot of slides. So if you want to play slides when the ball is low, you will always have this motion. So it has to be with the waist. So if it's waist high, so this is for me, my belly button is here. 
if I hit this high, I can play a little bit faster and then it's better. So then it's more there. Very good. Very good. Okay, so I just share it to the side wall. And then I stay show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is difficult. Yeah. So try to throw the ball slightly. Yes. Excellent. Now it's way easier. So I think when the when the ball's here, you have to hit it slightly more with the top through the racket, so you can hit the side. No. So this is uh, sometimes what it happens. Sometimes this comes forwards, and then it, you open too much. The top should always try to, to try to feel that you're pushing with this part. Yeah, pu push for, for longer, 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 longer. Yes, that's how you can get it to the side to push with that part of the racket. Yes. No rush. Better. Okay, do one where you hit a uh, bounce fence on the left. So try to hit the fence, yeah, after the bounce. Yes, okay. Now try to hit the glass. Yes, this is your show. Okay. Yes, mejor. More forward. More forward. Okay, I throw the ball, you hit. Okay. Yeah? You ready? change the rules in yeah. Adele. Uh, I need the trouble yeah. <laughs> guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, this will be the best one. Yeah, okay, make it. Hang up. Next one? This is gonna be the best one. Yes, better. Yeah. I'm loving it. Vamos. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you, Christina, for your Fibora. Vamos! Vamos! We will win all the matches together uh, in ladies' double. Oh. Vamos! So, hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Mucho gracias. Thank Mucho you gracias. very much.